you know it's little things little kindnesses don't be a dick at the supermarket and and and, and particularly coming out of this i think it's going to be really it, it will be those small acts of of knowing that the person in front of you who's doing something that you consider to be obnoxious or slightly antisocial you don't know what to them you don't know if their business has gone under if they've lost their jobs if everyone in their household has 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 struggled if they've missed a funeral if they've missed a you know who knows these little small things and i remember i had to do a a presentation on climate change um which i didn't want to do because i was going through a long period last year of just not wanting to pay attention to that at all because it was too depressing and some insurance brokers wanted it my agent rings will you do a presentation on climate change i said no i won't they're going to pay this much money i said yes i will Uh, but i tried to find (laughs) i tried to find things outside all the normal the seas will rise and this and that there's lots and lots and lots of things around that climate issue societal issues you know um with each degree of of of, cl- of temperature rise, they've tracked it through the states. There's a six degree rise in in, in violent assaults and antisocial behaviour. You know, little things like road rage in a hot climate, people's tempers fray really quickly. That will be the world we're going out into a hot world after this, where tempers will fray really quickly. And I think the the most important thing is going to to try to understand, as difficult as it may be, that we don't know why that person is acting the way they do you know, and to try to have some empathy and understanding because people are going to do some dickish things uh, and it's going to annoy us and and we just, we we won't know why that is. We have to understand, um, you know, um, as I say, I'm in my bubble of privilege and I don't even know what's going on out there in the world with people, you know, other than friends and, and, you know, social media. And I've seen lots of people losing their jobs and their businesses and their hopes and their dreams. And that's, it's going to hurt for a long time. The little acts of daily kindness. I think it was Jim Jeffries, uh, love him or hate him, uh, who I uh, heard in an interview several months ago, several years ago, who knows. Um, and he said that the philosophy on life he was growing up with was, you know, uh, have a good time and don't be a dick. You know, that's just, that's <laughs> his a, philosophy a, on life. And I think it's quite good. It, I think that is a good one. You know, uh, what do we want coming out of the pandemic? Less dicks. <laughs> actually uh and there's no shortage of them and again you know i I think it is i I think it is important to have a debate around how long a lockdown asks a healthy society has vibrant debate going on and someone says i think it should end straight away and someone says well actually here are the reasons why it shouldn't and you go "Mm, those are good reasons and i can use those reasons now when i'm having a discussion with xyz around why it shouldn't or should or 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 whatnot and again now is now is not the time for, for simply lashing out everyone's everyone's got a vested interest in, in it one way or another and again you know this that, that sense of you know i was looking at it this morning and someone said so it's excellent you know someone's time had been wasted explaining why we shouldn't come out of lockdown and i wanted to go on i, I i'm one of those people who types in a response into a social media platform and goes huh, and then deletes it yeah i did it too and, and so look, <laughs> if there is anything if there is anything you can learn from this conversation feel free to delight write an angry response and then delete it before yeah. it's posted because you know but actually, I, I want to go on and say, actually, you know what? I, I'm really glad that, that this particular response came out in response to people who are saying, we've got to come out of it and we've got to get out of this lockdown and get on because you you want to see someone go, this is why we don't. And you go, yeah, yeah, that's, I, I agree entirely with all of that. And, and I'm glad you've said that because, you know, people, it's like the 5G thing. You know, you can say things as much as you want, but there are still people going to, f- facebook stream their burning of a bloody cell phone tower in menyarewa i think it was i don't know where it was but uh, it sounded... the more yeah. ridiculous thing about that is there was video all over the uk of people doing it and because they're absolute i mean it's it's the um it's the mouth breathers who are doing it um they are, were burning down 2g 3g and 4g yeah. ones as well yeah. so yeah. even and the then conspiracy... live streaming and then live streaming yeah. with... <laughs> Hey Radar, this what has a been, world! What a world! Been, this has we been a blast, forever. mate. This has been an absolute blast, an absolute pleasure. It's been so long since I've actually had a, a chat with you. It's been um, so much fun, and thanks so much for uh, for spending a little bit of time with us on this uh, this lockdown podcast specials. Thank you. I'm going to go back inside now and probably play some more Uno with my four and a half year old Uno savant child. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, and then probably do a jigsaw puzzle. And then I'm going to come and stare at my books and. Nice. Um, choose choose one to read but hey um you know i think i think that was it just you know go go after this is done go out into the world and and try not to be a try not to be a dick don't be a dick too many dicks (laughs) cheers right up